Hello, today we're gonna be looking at your beautiful shell challenge build. Oh yes, we are. So just as a quick recap, here is the frickety frackety shell that I made and wowie wow wow. The shell that I made was something else, okay? It was truly out and about there, <laughs> you know? It was, it was a hard one. And here is also what I did with the shell. I made a little whatever this is called. <laughs> I think I would call it a German fairy tale inspired thing a thang. Yeah, that's the best I can come up with on the spot. I'm sure it has a real name, but I can't figure it out. Out. But yeah, I made a little crystal shop with an art studio and just a normal, normal home on top. Bobbity bobbity bop. And the weirdest nursery you have ever seen. That's what I did. <laughs> and also for this build challenge, I had to buy a lot of packs that I didn't have. I don't even know how much money I used on that, but I used some amount of money. But I did get a lot of help from people donating money to me. You don't have to donate money to me at all, but it was really appreciated because, oh wow, we my wallet. But okay, without further ado, let's look at your beautiful shells, shall we? Oh, we freaking shall. So so first things first, we are going to start with Mediterranean Town by Riley the Onion. I like that username. <laughs> so here is my Mediterranean inspired town using the Just Nora Shell Challenge. I still cannot say Shell Challenge, by the way. Maybe someday in the future I will. But anyways, the shell is in the back right corner. I hope you enjoy. And enjoy, I will. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? <laughs> this must have taken forever. Hold on. Are you insane? Wait, I am actually speechless. This is amazing. Holy moly me. All right, first of all, the shell is this one right here. And this person made other buildings besides it, which is allowed. And holy moly me, look at all the amazing details. By the way, look at all the rocks. Look at the landscaping. This takes forever. Oh, and the terraforming as well. <gasps> this is honestly so beautiful. And it must have taken you forever. You even made a waterfall. How did you make that waterfall? How? That's amazing. Yes, we got some boats down here in this river. Thank you, thank you. Staircase leading up to this little area with the cafes and stuff. <gasps> I want to look inside the cafes. Oh, that is so cute. Holy moly me. I'm speechless. And I'm only in the cafe. Okay, now we got this little build right here. What is in that build? Ooh, is this like a little apartment with a teeny tiny little art studio? And a bathroom on top. <laughs> I love that. And then we got a little bedroom. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then we have another little build over there, which is empty except for the kitchen and the bathroom. Oh, is that because somebody hasn't moved in yet? I see, I see. That's that's also a level of detail right there. And then here's the bridge. How many bridges is that? Oh, you stack two bridges on top of each other. Oh, that's amazing. Well, anyways, this is beautiful. Got this little place, all the statues and stuff. What is this? Oh, you have a lot of barrels. <laughs> and then on the other side, what do we got here? Oh, it's like a museum. The little dinosaur. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, and on top here, we got a bedroom. Hold on. It's a teeny tiny bedroom. Oh, there's all the little nicky knacks. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. The details. Oh, then we got an empty room here with the cobwebs. <laughs> okay, now on to the main shell, which is this one. Okay, let's look down at the first floor. Ooh, oh, this is a fancy room with a blue piano, an art room. Oh, and then we got the entryway and then the bathroom. Oh, cute, cute, cute. And then over here, is this like a bookstore or library? Oh, cute. Oh, and then we got the ladder to the basement. Hold on, what is going on down here? Oh, wow. So we got a little apartment down here with the wardrobe. Oh, what did you do with the wardrobe? Hold on, I gotta investigate. Okay, so this is a bookshelf with this on top. Oh, that was smart. I love that. Oh, this is the bathroom. I love the little shower area. Oh, that is so cute. What is this, by the way? Oh, it's this one. I would have never thought about that. That was a smart move. I love it. Okay, let's go on to the second floor. What do we have here? Oh, there's another ladder here. I didn't see that. And then the ladder goes up here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is like a really messy library. I love the details. This is amazing, by the way. This must have taken forever. And then over here, what do we got over here? We got this beautiful kitchen. I would have never thought about using the quote-unquote hallway as the kitchen. That was amazing. Then we got the staircase there. Beautiful. You got the stairs in. Then we go up here. The lovely living room. I love the colors in there. And then right here, we have a bedroom. This is so nice. Oh, I see. This is what you did with the round room. You made it into a walking closet. I love it. My camera's not working, but that is so cool. On the room on top, <laughs> you've just left it like that. I like that. I am truly amazed, by the way. I, I am. I am. And now we're going to move on to the next a beautiful shell, which is by Lauren EB123. And this is a cancel build for the Just Nora challenge. Thank you, Nora, for setting this challenge. I had so much fun. Oh, that's good. 
Whoa. Oh, that is lovely. This is a beautiful castle. All oh, the details. Oh, my. Oh, oh, you got ponds with fishes in them. Okay, I gotta go into live mode. But, oh, my gosh. Look at those ponds. Oh, this is amazing. Got the swans, the boat, and, and the mist. The beautiful mist. Look at the ducks with the little ducklings. Oh, you got mini goats and a hen. You got a freaking zoo out now. The jeepers me. Look at all the details in the garden. That is just amazing. I don't even know where to begin. There's so much happening right now. Like you got this outside area right here with these fancy, fancy gates. What is that? Teabug. Oh, oh my. How do you come up with this stuff? I would have never thought about that in a billion years. That is amazing. And you even got lights in the trees. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at all the details in the building. The bridge as well. Oh, you even got stuff under the bridge. Details, man. Details. I am just amazed. Again, this must have taken a long, long time. And the details are amazing. Okay, let's uh, step inside of this build. What do we got here? We got the entryway <laughs> with my little Iron Man right there. Oh, this is a real castle. <laughs> in the bathroom. Oh, we got Nern up there. It's always good to have a Nern in the bathroom, I do tell you. Oh, and here's a kitchen. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, and you even got a little book there. Herbalism. Nice. <laughs> oh, I see what you did here. You made a balcony. Mm, that is allowed, people. That's allowed. But wait, what do you have down here? Oh, this is the first floor. I was confused for a second, but now I am here. So that a little outside area here. And then you have a little area for the mini goats. Oh, beautiful. Now I want to make a castle, by the way. I am inspired to make a castle. <laughs> oh, this is so moody. Oh, I love this. Oh, and you even got a cobweb. Oh, and down here, what do we got down here? What you got in the basement? Ooh, scary Mary. Oh, this is where to store the wine. You got a little sleeping place down here. <laughs> the bathroom. I love that toilet. Oh, and then over here, we got another place for the animals. I'm kind of blanking on what that is called in English. And stall? I don't know. <laughs> but the place you put the horses. <laughs> yeah, back to the second floor. <laughs> so over here, we got a living room. The colors are so good. Oh, and you used those curtains as well. I would have never thought about that. That was good use of those curtains. Ooh, oh, I see. We got this diagonal room right here. And you turned the roof on that room to a little patio. And the couch, it fits so well in there. Oh, this is so cute. The details, I love it. Okay, let's step on to the third floor. We got the dining room. I love the use of that carpet. My gosh, I never use that carpet because I don't know what to do with it, really. But you made it work so so well. That is talent, I tell you. And then over here, we got the sleeping areas. Oh, that's a kid's bedroom. Nice and blue. Hold on. I love the use of the cubicle cabinet thingies next to their art thingy. I don't know words today, but I've never thought about that before. But it fits so well together. Mm. Oh, and then we got the primary bedroom. Looking all fancy dancy. The fancy dancy curtains. Are those from Love Strike? I can't find them. I can never find anything in here. Oh, and you got stuff underneath the dresser. Oh, you got stuff underneath here too. Oh, details. Details. Okay, so in this round room, Room, what we got in here? Oh, this is like an activity room. Oh, and the flooring. Hold on. Oh, I see what you did here. You used two carpets. Use this carpet and that carpet. That was inventive. I like that. What is this? <laughs> Hold on. You close up that part of the house and then you <laughs> threw in some bones. What happened here? <laughs> yeah, I want to know. I was shocked by that. I gotta be honest. Okay, the top floor here. Oh, what is this place? Like a little chilling place? A mini living room? A reading room, maybe? The gramophone. Oh, I see you've been grinding that Reaper's Reward event. Sounds oh, very nice. When oh, this room, you got a little seance room. Oh, that's so cool. And oh my gosh, I love the overgrown plants you put on here. That is amazing. Holy moly me. It is truly amazing, this place. I could be here all day and find new stuff, I tell you. <laughs> it's so much details in this build. And I feel like this have taken you forever. And it's so beautiful. I love it. All right, now we're going to move on to the next house, which is by Allegrand. Mm, here's my take on the shell challenge. I made my first ever tree house. A tree house packed full of skills and fun activities. Hello. Not to mention all the bedrooms fit to each sim and their interests. Mm. Any sim can hang out here and still have a fun time to hang out with friends and or just a place to get away. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. And this is your first time ever making a tree house. I have no words. Look at the tree trunks that you've used and the trees coming out of the house with the lights on them. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. And in the front here we got some bikes, some mushrooms and the freaking pathway all the rocks that takes such a long time oh we got some uh, fish and stuff okay i gotta go into live mode for that hold on a minute oh my gosh the pond glows whoa that is cool how do you do that oh my gosh i love this so much the mushrooms this is such a magical little place oh my gosh and this little house as well that is adorable with all the plants look at all the details you put in here oh 
beautiful. I mean, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, hacking. Stop talking to people. I gotta go back into build mode. <laughs> oh, this little area as well. This is so cute. Wow, that was the sound that I wanted to make. Yeah, let's have a little look inside. Oh my, this is so cute. With all the different chairs. Oh, in the kitchen as well. This is so adorable. I love this. And then on the other side here. Oh, we got a cute little living room. Holy moly me, this is cute and cozy. I love all the little cans here as well. <laughs> okay, let's uh, have a little look in the basement. Where is the basement entrance? Oh, here. I mean, that is very well hidden. You can barely see it. I'm impressed. Yeah, so here is the basement and the trees are in the way. <laughs> Hold on, let me fix that. Okay, there. Oh, and this is like a laundry room. Oh, I see. <gasps> With all the laundry baskets in different colors and shapes. And the washing machines as well. That. Oh my gosh, I love that. This is so good. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's move on to the second floor. Whoa. Got a little hallway and a bathroom. Hello. I love the use of the shelves right here. That's the lava -la. And then in here, what do we got in here? We got a little bedroom. A cute, cute bedroom with some bunk beds. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, you guys. So we got another little hallway with a hallway table with some nickety knacks on there. Lovely. And oh, what is this space? A little office, maybe? This is so cozy. Holy moly me. I love this so much with the desk spaces. Little sitting corner right there. And oh my gosh, if we step out here, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. This is so detailed and cozy and nice and it's all under one tree. I want to live here. Can I rent out this house, please? I have like $200 in my bank account. C can I stay here for one night? <laughs> this is amazing. And little egg baskets. I almost called them. What are they called? They're not called egg baskets. Egg baskets. You want to sit in my egg basket? I have it on my balcony. Okay, on the third floor, what do we got up here? Ooh, we got a little hallway with a cute, cute table and a bathroom. A very moody bathroom. I love the bricks you've used. Mm, love that. And then in here, we got another bedroom. And oh, we have the round room. And you removed one of the walls to combine it with this room. Wait, I didn't know you could do that. See, I'm learning so much today. But this is so cool. And you managed to make the curtains work. I'm proud of you. The curtains are always my worst nightmare. So I'm impressed by every curtain I see, really. <laughs> and let's see. We have another hallway with a little ottoman. Mm, and over here. Whoa, this room. This is a funky room. What is going on in here? We got some bunk beds. We got a TV with some funky funky headphones and playing machines playing machines am i 102 what is happening playing machines <laughs> and then we got another bedroom right here oh this is the artsy room i love this room as well then what we have over here we got another bathroom and i freaking love that the robes matches the bathtub <laughs> i mean this was truly magical i have no words it was amazing i had a blast and our next build is called downtown forgotten hollow which is by i am julix and let's see downtown forgotten hollow is the perfect hidden place for any occult here we have vampires, spellcasters, werewolves, and even Patchy live together. Although not always in harmony, even some of the bravest humans have made this place their home. Visit if you dare. Dun dun dun. I have created four functional separate apartments for a werewolf, a vampire, a spellcaster family, and a paranormal investigator. I'll be posting the same soon. Well, I'm looking forward for that. Well, oh me go. <laughs> this is such a cool build. He even got a little airplane up there. That is amazing. Thing. We got a street right here. It goes in there with the cars. Oh my gosh. And then in back here as well. Holy moly me. This is awesome. And you even got a little gas station over there. This is amazing. I am blown away. You even got some vending machines. A little selling table. Oh, the trash bin. This really looks like a freaking fracking street. Okay, let's take a little look inside. And what do we got on the first floor? Oh, I think this is a spellcaster apartment. If I'm not mistaken. This is so cute with the little counters over there. And then we got the little spellcaster office with the cauldron. Beautiful. And on this side, I think we got the werewolf apartment. Or the gym. It looks like a gym. Maybe I'm pondering as I go. Oh, this is so cool with the cracks in the walls. This is run down and scary. <laughs> Let's have a little look at the basement. And this is the entrance to the basement with the camera and everything. That is so cool. What is down here, people? Oh, this is some scary merry stuff right here. Look at the platforms. We got a little closet space in there. Oh, this is a little bar moment. What is going on in here? In me and me. Alright, let's have a little look at the second floor. Oh, hello, hello. I do believe that this is the werewolf space. We got the studio apartment, the bed area. Holy moly me, that is so cute. <laughs> With the sandal lights and the cute kitchen corner. You managed to squeeze in the kitchen in this tiny, tiny room. I am impressed. Oh, and the balcony. Holy moly me, that is so cool. With the sandal lights and the fire pit and the couch. I love this. I would have never thought about using those bandrolls right there. It almost looks like a room, you know, without being a room. That is amazing. I love it. It also looks like a little cage, which is needed for a werewolf, gotta be honest. Oh, and this is how you get into the party.
apartments. I see how it is. The staircase up here, and then we got like the hallway. Oh, now I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm a little bit slow, but I'm getting it. And in here is the spellcaster apartment, I do believe. Or is this the paranormal investigator's apartment? I think it's the paranormal investigator's apartment. Now that I think about it. Okay. Anyways, I press the band. Ooh, I love the wallpaper. The colors are amazing. Holy moly me. I love it so much. And the kitchen area. How do you manage to make the kitchen area so adorable? I'm amazed. All right, let's go up to the third floor. Boop -bop. Ooh, I do believe that this is the vampire apartment. We got the living room over there. I love the vibes in here. That is so spooky. That is so nice. And the bedroom with the carpet. That is amazing. <laughs> and the bathroom as well. Oh, I love the use of that flooring. I can never seem to get that flooring to work for me. So that was cool that you actually made that flooring work because I could never. And then this apartment. Oh, is this Patch's apartment? Or is this the Spellcaster family? Because there is a uh, toddler bedroom here. I think this is the Spellcaster family. I do believe. My mistake. Moving on. <laughs> I love this so much. Look at this. Yes. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I love the Nikki Linux. This must have taken a heap of a long of a time. This is amazing. Oh, and the kitchen as well. Look at all the Nikki Linux on the fridge. I'm gonna steal that one day. You watch me. <laughs> and right here, we got the primary bedroom. Oh my gosh, I love how you use the space in the round room with the shelves and stuff. Oh my gosh. And then we get the little toddler bedroom, which is so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, let's move up to the last floor. And what shall we find? Ooh. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the portal. The portal to the magical place. I love that you put that in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love what you did with the roof. Got a whole patio up here. <gasps> with Patchy. Oh my gosh, Patchy has never looked better, do you gotta say. This is such a magical place. I love this, honestly. I love how you blended in the cults and the city vibes, you know? That was magical. Thank you for that experience. It's real wow. And now on to our next build, which is a desert market by Emmy JG. I hope I said that somewhat correctly. I'm sorry. And this person has used items from the for rent pack, which is stuff that you can only get if you buy the pack within a certain time frame and um i sadly did not do that so yeah we just have to imagine that these items are in the build okay use our imagination people oh hello hello oh my gosh are you kidding me this is amazing we got a whole market out here holy moly me Ho what he ho i have no words what how did you manage to do all of this i don't even know where to begin wait what is the roof made out of to use this awning right here and size it up a little bit to make that roof my gosh that is creative look at all the stalls Look at them all in all its glory. So we got a table with a lot of books on them. And over here, we got lots and lots of wine. And then we got somebody who's selling paintings. And this person is selling a lot, a lot of jewelry. And oh, me, oh my, we got another selling table over here. We got tons of baskets. Oh, we got my axolotls. I love them. And all the freaking teapots. That is so cute. Oh, what do we have over here? We got lots of jars with fermented vegetables and stuff. And the fish on the pole. And we got even more stalls over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, somebody's selling fruit. And there's also one who's selling some pots. Gee, blee, blah, blah, And it keeps on going, people. We've got a beautiful fountain area over here. That is adorable, by the way. Oh, oh, hello. We've got a huge sitting area with the Bubbletron 5000. This is amazing. we got these sitting places as well. Holy moly me, the details of this place. I... <laughs> and we got a whole grill area over here as well. How did you manage to do all this? I mean, this is so creative. The details, everything. Look at the exterior. That big Building. Truly, this is amazing. Let's have a little look at the first floor. Ooh, what, is, what is this? A little store? Is this where you buy your curtains and tapestries? I love that store. Ooh, and then over here, we got a kitchen. And I love the wallpaper. I love the mood in here. <laughs> All right, let's have a little look at the basement. And where's the entrance to the basement? Oh, it's right here, people. With the mailboxes. Let's step on down. Oh, hello, hello. So this is a little apartment space. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love the bed section with the curtains and the bed. The carpet. Oh my gosh, this fits so well together. That's amazing. All right, let's step onto the second floor. What we got up here? Ooh, we got a cute kitchen corner. The little dining table. The little couch area. With the hallway. Oh, I love me some hallways. Right here, we have a little bedroom, I do believe. Oh, on the balcony as well. That is a lava All right, let's go on to the third floor. Ooh, hello. There is a lot of patterns up here. This is so cool. I'm in love with this kitchen, I gotta say. The counters and the cabinets work so well with the flooring. That was an amazing job job by you. Oh, and the entryway moment. I love the little mess you've made here. That looks so realistic and lived in. Love it. Oh, and then we got the bathroom. Oh, I love that you put the bathroom in the round room. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, and you also got a little cute hallway that leads into... Oh, this is a lovely, lovely room. I absolutely love the colors. This is so 
cozy. Rickety frackety me. Oh, and the bedroom as well. Beautiful. It's so warm and cozy in here. Got a little poof moment in the corner. I love my poof moment. Oh, and we have a staircase. What does it lead to? Boom. Ooh, we got a little bar area over here. <gasps> no freaking way. You made this room into a passageway? Are you kidding me? Never in a million years would I have thought about that. <laughs> that is awesome. And over here, we got another sitting place, the tables and the carpets. Everything just works so well together in this build. I'm truly amazed. Oh, and this place, what do we got in here? This round room. Oh, we got some barrels. I love me some barrels. That is needed for the bar. Smart move. And this was such a lovely build. I love that the shell wasn't even the main part of the building, you know? It was everything else. I was in the backyard and I, I'm just so amazed. How do you come up with this? How much time did you use on this? Did you cry a lot? I would have cried a lot. I am, I'm just amazed really. And next up we have a build from Koneko 11, which is a space bunker, cyberpunk apocalypse, humanity helping to survive. In a single lot, you can find families, a group of young friends, lone wolves and scientists who try to go back to earth. Ooh, I like this storyline. I like it. And with this lot, they have used items from the high school years pack, which are items that you can only get if you buy the pack within a certain time period and I did not do that so I can't purchase it now. It's unavailable for purchase. I hope that wasn't like the main part of the build. I'm so sorry. And oh, this is funky. Oh my gosh, I can totally see this as a space bunker. Oh, this is awesome. Look at the little front yard out here. Holy moly me. Oh, you got little tiny robots. Cute. And I gotta be honest, this shell fits so good with this type of building style. That's amazing. And on the back here, we got some containers and a little outhouse right there. Got some pipes. Some lovely, lovely pipes. I love me some pipes. Oh, we got a big propeller on that. <laughs> you know what? That part of the house, the silo looking thing, really reminds me of the uh, Flocklipa Museum. This museum right here. <laughs> Which, by the way, is right by where my grandmother used to live. She's not with us today, but um, she lived right by there. But anyways, back to the building. Let's step inside the house and let's see what we find here. Okay, we have this little part of the building. Ooh. Oh, this really looks abandoned. Oh my gosh, I love that you put the windows down here. I would have never thought about that, but that is cool. Got a really run down kitchen. And the bathroom too. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then the other part of the house, got this place with a really, really big door. Oh, that is so cool. On the kitchen too, with the windows and the postcards. Oh, something is glitching. What is going on there? Is something happening in the basement? I don't even want to know. But anyways, we have the bank bed section right here with the cool door and the fish lamp. For some reason, that fish lamp just fits in so well. Oh. Oh, 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 wow. I'm noticing more details out in the garden. <laughs> what is that? Landing lights. Mm, landing lights. Yeah, let's step into the basement. What is in the basement, people? We shall see. Ooh. Is this like a little space lab or something? Oh, that is so cool. We got a little suitcase. They're ready for everything, people. They are a lava lab. All right. Let's take a walk upstairs to the second floor. And they have put the stairs outside up. Oh, that's good. And here we have the kitchen with all the cool little nicky knacks. And then we have a bathroom with a party. And we got a little living room out here. With a speaker? Oh, I like that. <laughs> on the other side here. Oh, this is a different apartment. Oh, I get it. I get it. We have another kitchen with a Murphy bed. Good luck with that. Oh, and then we got the outside area here. Oh, that is so cute with all the little plants and stuff. And that thing, what is that? Solar water heater. Fully operated. That's good. Okay, let's step up to the third floor. Oh, this is cool. How do you get up here, by the way? There's a ladder there. Oh, from the outside. Oh, that is a very long ladder. <laughs> I like that. But, oh, wow. I love the bunk beds in the sleeping bags. There are some young, young folks living in here, people. They got a dog or a cat or something else that drinks out of a bowl. Who knows? <laughs> and then you got the bathroom with the chamber pot. <laughs> I like that. And on the other side here, how do you get up to this place, by the way? Oh, from here. Oh, okay, I see. So this is a two-floor apartment. Ah, I see, I see, I see. This is such a maze of a house and I love it. Okay, so we got the bedroom right here. Oh, this is so cool. And what is that? It's a little book. Ah, oh, Gemology, my favorite book. Then we got the kids bedroom right here i do believe is it the kids bedroom yeah who else would leave there nora be real right and then in this room not sure what this room is it's an office with some flower pots <laughs> oh and up here this is a scary merry room oh i like this room i feel like this is the non-panic room you know just living your everyday life and this is the panic room this is where when the world has fallen apart right oh my gosh this was a beautiful build that was an adventure and a half people love it and now we're gonna move on to this build right here which is by star horse 254 and let's see in house one lives a family that inherited the house from the grandparents with a horse. Mm. They have an infant and a baby on the way. The second house is a community lot recently developed so some shops are under construction. Third house was recently remodeled and the family are expecting a baby. They only moved in a few days ago. Okay, okay, okay. Fourth house is a family that are close to first house but both don't like
like the third house. <laughs> okay. And they have a teen, twin boys, which are kids, and twin girls, which are toddlers. This was a um, law, people. Oh, and again, this person has used an item from the horse ranch pack, which you only get when you buy the pack within a certain time period. So nothing I can do about that. But the item that she used was this one. So we, we can just imagine that in our minds. Right, good. Oh my. Hold on. This is a whole freaking town you built here. You didn't need to do that. What? <laughs> in each one of these houses are the shell. Holy me. Ho, oh, oh, ha. I don't even know what to say. Okay, what are we going to start with first? Uh, where is house one that inherited the freaking horse? No, they inherited the house with the horse. All right, this is house one. There's the horse place. Can't remember what it's called again in English. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. You got house numbers that you got from the gallery. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is beautiful. We got some German architecture up in here. And the back garden as well. Oh, we got a pool with a round edge with a pizza in it. Oh, lovely. Oh, and we got some playground equipment. Oh, and then you made this yourself. Oh, and you made the slide as well. That's a roof. How do you come up with this stuff? That is cool. But let's start here with a little horse area. Oh, that's so lovely. I love the use of white furniture. Oh, yeah. So on the other side, here. Oh, we got a red kitchen. I would have never thought of using those counters with that wallpaper. Because in my mind, that would be too much red, you know? But it totally works. Oh, and over here, we got this corner. How did you come up with this? This is so cool. Oh, you sized down this thing. Oh, that is so smart. Oh, and then we got a little breakfast nook in here. Or a dining nook. It is a nook, at least. And what we have here? Oh, a little half bath. You got one of those. Where's that from? Oh, it's from D-Bag. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, let's go down into the basement. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I love this. We got a winery. We got some barrels. And in here, we got a bathroom with another plunger. That is very important. Yeah, now onto the second floor. What is this room? A little playing area, maybe? And we got some flowers back there on a platform, I do believe. Very cool. Then over here, ooh, we got the primary bedroom, I do believe. Oh, I love the colors in here. Then we got the bathroom as well. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We got some plants up in here in that windowsill. That is lovely. I like that. Okay, onto the third floor. Whoa, this is the living room. Oh my gosh, this is so cozy. With a little basket. Oh, I didn't know that that shade existed. With a peg on it. Hold on. I feel robbed, but now I know. And in this round room, oh, we got a little library. And then we have a ladder that leads up to, whoa, <laughs> this room, which I believe is going to be the attic. That is fantastic. <laughs> and then on the other side of the house, oh, we have the nurseries. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And this room, this is so cute. And then the kids' bathroom. <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay, so that was the first house of the four houses that they made. And now we're going to move on to the second house, which was a community lodge. And it had been recently developed, so some shops are still under construction. Ah, see how it is. And oh me, oh my, we got the parking lot. And oh my gosh, the fountain with all the flowers. This is amazing. What else do we got now? Oh, we got a dog place. Oh my gosh. We got an outside sitting place with all the different food stalls. Oh, and then you got a little place that you can have performances and stuff. It looks so real. I mean, that was the point to make it look real. Okay, let's step inside. Huh? So on the first floor here, what do we got here? It's a cafe, maybe, sitting place, lounge, singing lounge. I'm not 100% sure, but I like it. And in this part, ooh, what is this? Is this a club? Are we in the club? The club who's? Oh, and this is the basement. Let's step into the basement. Oh, what is this place? Oh, is this one of the shops that are under construction? That is cool. Oh, I love that the fridge is uh, like that. All right, let's go on to the second floor. What do we got here? Ooh. Oh, we got a little cafe moment in there. Oh, and the little sitting area out here too. Beautiful, beautiful. And on the other side here, we got a gym, I believe. That looks like a gym. That very much looks like it. Okay, on the third floor, what do we got up here? Ooh a little bar moment, I do believe. A winery, maybe. You know, we got a wine room in here. So brilliant. That must have taken ages to do this. <laughs> oh, by the way, I love the way I made this with the cabinets and the shelves and the mirror back there, too. Brilliant. Oh, and you get toilets with the different pictures on the walls. <laughs> and then on the other part here, with the roof. Whoa, that's a lighting roof. Lighting roof. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Which is a library, I do believe, and it's looking lovely jubbly. Oh, I love the way you stacked it in the corner right there. That was a smart move. And now we're gonna move on to the third house, which was recently remodeled. And this was the house that nobody liked, apparently. Maybe we shall see why. <laughs> Alright, I think that this is the third house, and it's a very modern house. I'm not a modern simmer per se, say, but this is lovely. Love the green grass roofs, the wiggly wiggle roofs. And look at the garden, oh my. Got a sitting place over there with a fireplace, and the playground, and the swimming pool, and the hot tub. Oh, and this area as well. Oh, absolutely lovely. And this pathway, oh my gosh, look at all the flowers. 
flowers. That is so beautiful. I love that. Oh, hello. This is the garage, I do believe. Oh, and look at the little trash area. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So this is the inside of the garage. On this side, we have a little art studio. Cute. And you got a money bag too. What happened there? We may never know. Okay, so this is the first floor. Ooh, we got a very fancy kitchen up in there. Very lovely. And on this side of the house, a little robot vacuum. <laughs> and an entryway. Wait, oh, I see. You placed a the door there. Oh, I would have never thought about that. That's a nice placement. And let's step into the basement area. Ooh, we got a little activity area down here. Oh my gosh, with the bathroom as well? That is a very fancy bathroom for a basement. I like that. And then on the second floor, got a very modern living room, I do believe. A little office nook. Then we got the primary bedroom with a very, very fancy bed. Oh, and this lovely little outside area here. That is very modern. <laughs> okay, let's step up to the third floor. Whoa, I was not expecting this. This was very dark. Oh, oh, hello. I love this. And you use those doors to get curved bookshelves. Oh, that was very smart of you. And a bathroom. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love what you did with the toilet. <laughs> that was really smart. And then over here, we got the very goth nursery. I see that they're expecting a goth baby. I see how it is. And then over here, oh, we got a cat room. These are cat people. And then, ooh, that was a really fancy room. I love the use of this wallpaper with the furniture. Oh my gosh, you guys are so creative. I don't even know what to say. All right, so that was the third house. Let's move on to the last house, the fourth house. And oh my, look at the outside. Got a shed right there. Oh, and a big old garden with, what are they growing? Pumpkins. Oh, and they got some mini goats. I have no idea how you managed to put all of these things onto one lot, by the way. I, I am amazed. Oh, and this play area too. Oh my gosh, and you made this little house right here. How did you come up with this? Oh, did you make this yourself too? How? How do you come up with this? This is a little chicken coop, I do believe. I'm amazed. Oh my gosh, I love what you did with the little passageway too. This is too much for me. I don't even know what to say. This must have taken you a year. How did you manage to do all of this in such a short time? Look at this. In the front part here. Oh my gosh. Let's step on inside. Oh, this is the entrance area. Cute little moment in there. And on the other side here. Oh, we got a kitchen. Oh, and I love what you did here with the shelf. I mean, how do you even come up with all this stuff? This is so cool. In this area as well. In the bathroom. <gasps> I love the way you separated the sink to the toilet with those half walls and columns. Okay, let's step into the basement. Oh, okay, we got a little apartment space maybe with a little kitchen corner. Oh, that's so cute. And the bed, and the bathroom as well. And what is this, by the way? Oh, you have put a plant in the cage. I love that. On to the second floor. What do we have in here? We got a little office space. Then we got a bathroom. Where does the bathroom begin and where does it end? Oh, okay, the door is here. I see how it is. And you got your own little shower nook in there. I like that. And then over here, what do we got over here? We got a funky, funky living room. I love how you managed to make these couches work, by the way. I could never. Oh, I love the little nook for the cat slash dog. Adorable. And then on the third floor, whoa, okay. We got some kids' bedrooms. Oh, they each got their own little teddy bear. And then in here, you've separated that with a short wall and the curtain. Mm, I love that. This room is so cute as well. I love the use of the space. And in here, we have the twin toddler's bedroom. I do believe. Cute. And let's see, the other part of the house, what do we got in here? Ooh, we got the primary bedroom. The lovely blue colors. Oh, then we got another bathroom and another bathroom. Yes, yeah, so this is a family of, I don't know how many this family is, but there are a lot. So they need a lot of bathrooms. And then in this round room, oh, we got another bathroom. <laughs> this is the ensuite bathroom. Oh, the plant, the mess, the windows, a lovely, lovely bathroom. Oh, I see what you did here. You've removed the floor. That was a smart move. I like that. And oh me, oh my. Here is the whole lot. That's a mahoosive lot. How much time did you use on this, by the way? I want to know, because I, how did you, how, how? I'm amazed. All right, now we're going to move on to our next build, which is called Nora Shell Health Clinic. Ooh, and this build is by Agatha BMT. I hope I said that correctly, or somewhat correctly. All right, Nora Shell Private Health Clinic is dedicated to providing exceptional healthcare services tailored to individual needs. Our experienced team of professionals offers a range of medical services, routine checkups, private consultations, convenient bedrooms, kinesiotherapy, I don't know what that is, I'm sorry, rehabilitation pool, and surgeries operation rooms. At Norachel, we prioritize patient comfort and well-being, ensuring a personalized approach to health and wellness. Your health is our mission. I love that you made a promotion for this place. That is a 10 out of 10 in my book. <laughs> okay. That is the detail I need in my life. And oh me oh my, here is the build. Oh, this really looks like a health clinic. And I'm guessing that was the point as well. You even got a little helicopter pad up here. Oh, and a red cross. I think you're breaking the Geneva Convention a little bit, but that's okay with Nora. Not really. It is okay for the day. <laughs> but don't mind that. We're gonna look at the landscaping. And oh, wow. You got a parking lot out here with some bicycles and some benches. 
is and then you got a little garden place out here that you can sit and relax oh my gosh look at all the plants and another place that you can sit and relax this is such a peaceful place look at all the frackety frackety plants so neat and nicely put up in there and a little birdhouse oh cute oh and i love this what you put the plant boxes on a little platform i've never seen that before that's really creative how did you come up with that i want to know and then we got some more planting areas over here a little food stall oh my gosh this is so beautiful it's so peaceful okay let's step on inside huh? and we got the first floor what is this oh is this like a cafeteria place cafeteria place it's just a cafeteria i love the signs over the trash cans that's good that is detailed to the max i love the colors in here Ooh. and then on the other side right here we have the reception i do believe on oh, the waiting area and the fire extinguisher with the sign on top of it the details i tell ya oh hold on a minute i love my good trash area that is cool oh and this is the entrance to the basement and the pipes i love me some pipes yeah let's go into the basement what do we find in here hold on oh this is so cool we got a whole pool area in here this is amazing oh and the raised stop part right there so they can sit and relax and we got the locker room that is such a locker bench by the way my mind i love that you use that room for a toilet <laughs> that was really good <laughs> let's move on to the second floor what do we have up here got some offices oh the doctor's offices hello hello then we got another doctor's office i love the use of the brown colors even though it's supposed to be a health clinic it's so cozy i would have never have expected that my mind and then we got one of the surgery rooms i do believe for the office oh my gosh and the toilets gotta have some toilets people that is el importante and then the third floor what do we got up here oh we got a waiting room and a little staff kitchen i love that <laughs> oh this is one of the operation rooms oh this is cool so we got like the prep room in here and then in here is a real surgery room i mean that is freaking cool how do you do that okay so you put like a cot bed on top of a table that is so creative I... <laughs> oh and over here we have the patient's ward with all the beds this is some sand stuff right here wow and then we got a single room in here that's for the vips and they get their own little bathroom and we got another bathroom out here for the poor people just kidding i know i'm not i mean this is amazing the creativity is astonishing oh and then we got a staircase out here that leads to the top floor what do we got out here we got the roof and then another operation room <laughs> Oh, is that for like the emergency surgeries that comes in with the helicopter? Maybe. Am I onto something? That is cool. <laughs> oh, and what is this room, by the way? Just a utility closet, maybe? <laughs> with all the boxes and stuff? Maybe it is. And oh my gosh, look at the exterior. I love that you use the columns and everything. Oh, and the use of the platform here. Oh my gosh, this is so incredible. This fits so well with the health clinic. I am El Impreso Tanta. That was not a word, no. But yeah, that was a wonderful build. <laughs> all right, now we're going to move on to the next build, which is called Just Mondrian. I like that name. <laughs> And this build is by Debex underscore 73. And let's see. Oh, <laughs> it's in Portuguese, I do believe. So this art gallery was inspired by Mondrian. Why am I even trying? I do not know Portuguese at all. I need to translate this. This art gallery is inspired by Mondrian and hopes to inspire Sims with their artistic skills. This is from Basile. Mwah. I mean, they didn't say Mwah. that was from me. So if you don't know, this is Mondrian. He is a Dutch painter. All the good painters are from, I was going to say Dutchland, Netherlands. <laughs> my brain sometimes so yeah this is mondrian and mondrian he does this art style but anyways here is the house and oh i love this so much look at all the colors holy moly me and i love absolutely love that you have outlined the walls and the ceilings with the black trim that was genius and look at this little room oh that's so cool look at it from the top the geometry it's off the charts people okay, let's have a little look at the garden i love the use of the fences everywhere it just perfectly outlines everything look Look at this. We got some benches, some statues. Got a little painting area. This is amazing. Look at all of this. Got some windmills. This is so beautiful. Let's have a little look inside. What do we got on the first floor? Oh, we got a cute little sitting area and a little bathroom. And what do we got here? We got a very, very yellow ladder that leads into the abyss, people. Do I even dare to go down there? It's very dark. Oh, <laughs> oh my. This is the funky room, people. What is going on down here? <laughs> And with the bathrooms as well. And the little statue behind the glass. And we got some pipes. Always good to have some pipes, people. Oh, and by the way, this was supposed to be the entrance to the basement. How do you hide that up? Oh, I see what you did here. I was about to say, it's okay if you make a roof and just hide it up. It's totally fine. But the way you did it right here, that was genius. <laughs> okay, on the other side here, what do you got here? Oh, this is a little kid art room. So cute. Okay, let's go on to the second floor. And what do we have up here? We got a very creepy skeleton man. 
again. <laughs> Another bathroom that is a port drab. Oh, and then more art stuff that you can view. I love that little gnome right there. <laughs> and then we got the little balcony with the wedding arch. You get married here. That's a beautiful place to get married. Okay, let's go on to the third floor. Oh, we got a nice old piano, some keyboards, and all the different paintings. And then over here, what do we got over here? We got the little bar moment over here with the chairs and the different colors. And what is this room? <gasps> It's the plant room. Oh my gosh. Can I go in here? And then I look up. Oh, oh, that's cool. I do like me some of that. Let's do a fish eye. Fish eye. Oh no, I ruined the camera. Ah. All right. What do we have on the last floor? Wait, what is this? <laughs> the janitor's closet? No. The something. This is the something room. Love that room. But yeah, that was an amazing build. Holy moly me. How do you even come up with this? I do wonder. Hello. This is not from future. I don't have my camera on right now because I'm supposed to be uploading this video in two hours. But I just wanted to show you some extra builds that I saw in the gallery that I thought were amazing and I really wanted to squeeze them into this video and uh, I don't really have that much time so I have to do this really briefly and I'm so sorry about that ah. but the first build that I wanted to show you is Solar Punk Train Station by Nicoletta I hope I said that somewhat correctly I'm so sorry and let's see in the description it says hey do you know what happened to the abandoned train station not sure I think some people moved in a while ago the place looks a bunch greener now but who knows what's going on in there I doubt there'll be any trains running again anytime soon though Oh, it's a mystery house, you guys. And a mystery house, it truly is. I mean, look at this place. This is incredible. The details. I am lost for words again, okay? I'm speechless. This is a beautiful old overgrown train station. I mean, just look at the back here with all the trains and the platform and the freaking car that's on top of a container and diesel buildings out here and this one with all the garden pots and all the nicky nags. I mean, it's amazing. All right, let's step on inside. In here on the first floor, we have a little waiting area, I do believe, with some toilets. And oh my gosh, look at this. It's a cage. There's some books in the cage and I love it. On the other side we have a little cafe area and it's so cute and then if you go over here to the entrance of the basement and step into the basement we have a little spa moment down here with a little pool and a restroom. This is so beautiful. And then on the second floor here we got a little computer room and an art studio. Then on the third floor we have this beautiful kitchen and then on the other side we have these four small little rooms and they're so amazing. I mean the details in every single room is a Astonishing. And then, oh my gosh, this little silo looking thing is so amazing. Like, look at it. It's just filled up with tons and tons of plants and the solar system on top. And let me try and get my camera right here and see if this actually works. Um, it kind of works. It doesn't do it justice though, but it's beautiful in here. Oh my gosh, this was such an amazing build. And I wish I could spend more time here. It was amazing. And then onto our next build, which is by Iver. No, Hi Iver. Something along those lines. I'm so sorry. But they have built a cyberpunk inspired lot with four different apartments with community slash share lots on the ground floor and look at this this is amazing the details the lights it's so beautiful it's so freaking cool my jaw is dropped you can't see it but it's dropped people and then if we step on the first floor here we can see the gym and the freaking cafe and the karaoke room and here is the laundry room and then on the second floor we have some apartments in all the beautiful colors i love how it's colored coordinated like this. And then on the third floor, we have some more apartments, people. I love the aesthetics of this. It is so magical. I wish I had talent like this, you know? And the top floor, too. It's just amazing. All those small little details to make this whole build. Incredible. It's astonishing. I just, I am lost for words. And then the third build is the Werewolf Party House by H. Claire 93 And this home is for a party-going, messy, irresponsible werewolf mother and her graffiti artist son. Oh, I'm ready for this. Oh my gosh. This this build is so lovely. The mess, the storyline of this building, the use of like container walls. It's just incredible how you made this work with this frickety frackety shell, you know? It's just, it's mind blowing to me, okay? I love it. And look at the garden. Look how messy and nice it looks. It's just, it's amazing all the small little details to make this place so messy, but also so cozy. It's amazing. Well, let's step on the inside to the first floor here and we shall find such a messy living room. I love this so much. And then we have the kitchen right here which is also so messy and just broken down and right here we have the entrance to the basement and in the basement i love the basement we have some bunk beds we have some mess ah oh, it's amazing and then on the second floor here we got a little gym moment a bathroom a long ass pipe ventilation system maybe who knows i don't really know that much about pipes and then on the third floor we have a bedroom and a bathroom and a place they store their art i do believe and this grimy hallway which i love and then on the other side we have the primary 
Mary bedroom, which is so messy, and the bathroom, and a little bar moment over there. And then on the top roof, oh my gosh, the top roof, we got this sitting area over here. It's so nice. I ah. Then we also got a little place where you can grow plants, and a little art studio, and in this teeny tiny room, we have this teeny tiny table. Oh, I love it. That was a lovely, lovely build. I love it so much. All right, back to Nora. Thank you. All right, that was all the builds that we had time for today. They were truly amazing. I mean, you guys are so creative. How did you get so creative? I want to know. I want to know. And of course, in the description and on the timestamps, I have written down the creators of the builds and what they're called in the gallery. So you can find the builds in there if you want to, because these are some incredible builds. I do tell you. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't show all the beautiful builds that you guys have made, but it truly was a lot of builds. I thought that I would only have like five builds to show, but apparently there was a lot of builds. <laughs> and if you didn't see your build on this video, it does not mean that I didn't like the build, okay? No, 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 no. It was a lot of builds that I wanted to show, but I literally do not have time. So I'm so sorry for that. I really am. And don't you worry, I'm going to do more shell challenges in the future as well. So you will have another chance to show your amazing and creative work then. Yes. And I'm starting to lose my voice now. So um, I better end this video right here and right now. And that's what she's doing. Welcome to the outro. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I extremely enjoyed this video. I had an amazing time looking through all of your builds. I was blown away. I learned so much. I had an enjoyable time. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe because it really does help me out. So um, thank you. But only if you want to. Only if you want to. Now I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.